What is going on, everybody? So today, I got some mail. A lot of it was, uh, well, a couple. One was from a trade. Uh, one was what I purchased. I purchased something. One is my first uh, subscription to Beckett came back. And I got a surprise package from our friend Papa J. Papa J's cards. I have not, you know, I, I was not expecting anything. Uh, that's absolutely insane. But let me tell you, I have been looking. I've been looking and I've been like chatting with people. I've been trying to get somebody to uh, send cards back and forth to, you know. So <laughs> I really appreciate Papa J sending me something in the mail. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, anytime I get to open something, I swear it is like Christmas. Um, <laughs> but yeah, without I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna save this for. Uh, I'm gonna save Papa J's for last. Uh, let's see how I did uh, with my subscription or my submission. Excuse me. I uh, I kind of cheated and I I I looked online at uh you know the grades and the population report but i haven't actually seen the cards themselves in the case jeez <laughs> all right got it open with my giant knife i'm currently watching uh i think it's the rockies versus um San Francisco. All right. So let's start with the. I know I already know what this one is. And this is my least. This is what I'm very upset about. Well, not very upset. It's still got a pretty decent grade, but not what I wanted. Uh, so I'm, an, I'm a Nats fan, but unfortunately, first and foremost, I am a Pirates fan. I live in Pittsburgh. Uh, so I pulled this. This was uh, from earlier this year from Bowman. So I sent this Mason Martin in. And uh, this is pretty big for me. All right. It's a big card. This is the future of the Pirates. He, he's going to be the Pirates first baseman. Uh, I think Josh Bell comes up in uh, three years or two years or something. And this is, this is going to be the guy, I think, that's going to be playing. So pretty nice got a nine but a 10 on the uh the autograph so 9.5 centering edges 10 corners 9.5 and surface is an 8.5 i don't know why i honestly do not see anything wrong with it but again i don't grade cards so maybe i'll have to take a look at it and Maybe, I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to look and see. But, all right. So, next up. I just realized I was going on to the next piece of mail. Here's, the, here's another one I have. Fernando Tatis Jr. This is from his finest. Um, geez, it was that close. To black label centering 10 edges 10 surface 10 corners 9 5 man 10 10 so i looked it up this is a pop one uh there are other cards graded of this one but they are all underneath of it uh this is the only 10 10 in beckett so i was very very happy with this very happy beautiful card man very nice Next one, pretty nice one, Tatis uh, X-Fractor, and I have hundreds of cards that I want to send in, but if any of you guys know about sending uh, cards in, they are expensive, especially if you do the quick, 9-5, uh, edges 9-5, corners 9, surface nine, uh, 10, so beautiful card, nice rookie there, and then check this one out. I pulled this from the boombox a few months ago. Or I think about two months ago, I want to say. This is an Otani rookie. Orange uh, orange refractor. 9.5. And this is out of... 
This is one of 25. So I looked it up, and there aren't any of them that have even been graded. As far as I saw, this is the only one. This is the only one that has been graded. So it is a true Pop 1. There's nothing under it. There's nothing higher than it. It's the only one. So, you Otani fans, if you guys uh, are looking to do a trade, this is up for trade. That's a sweet card, though. I remember when I pulled it, I was so excited. I'm going to set this aside. Again, I'm, I'm going to save that for last. Let's see what Beckett has to say. Okay. Just nothing in particular. All right, cool. So, online auction, uh, live auction, I got this. Uh, I'm a Nats fan. Sure, it's not the Nationals, but or he's not in the Nationals uniform, or should we say the, uh, the Expos. But check this out. I got this cheap, too. Uh, it's a very high grade Harmon Killebrew, 8.5. I apologize that this uh, mail video is a little bit long, but hey, it's my Friday. I'm not going out doing anything. I got home from work. I wanted to wait till tomorrow to do this, but I just couldn't wait, uh, especially since I saw Papa Jay sent, sent a nice little package. But 1968 Harmon Killebrew, 8.5. That's big. That's really really hard to grade that high on on 60s that's crazy so i'm really excited about that as well and another edition that i got those of you that watch know i have been trying to get an eloy auto out of every single tops product i don't think that's gonna happen uh <laughs> two reasons is because First, I'm not made of money, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm working class. Uh, <laughs> uh, I didn't even realize how many products Topps comes out with every single year. It's like 22 products. So anyway, <laughs> I did a trade uh, with somebody. Um, it was actually, uh, you know, those Otani cards um, from 2019. They came in Series 2 that's an error. Uh, with the wrong date, I, co I collected the, uh, or I start, I started the rainbow, uh, and I, the, the guy wanted it, he was trying to get the rainbow as well, and he wants to send it in for grading, so here is the Eloy that we will add to the collection, I also got this one too, so now we have the Eloy clearly authentic, through trading, high tech, tops finest, diamond icons. And that's crazy. You know what? I didn't spend that much on this card, less than a hundred bucks. And I just watched one of his 2020 autographs from Series One go for over a hundred bucks today, and I don't understand that. Uh, I I don't I don't get it. I'm not sure. All right, here's tops fire. Uh, archives, this is of 99, Tops Chrome, Gold Label, and Five Star. So, it's coming along. We got one, two, I think it's nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yes. So, nine of the, like, <laughs> 22 or 20, 20 Tops products uh, that they came out with in 2019. This is, I'm not going to do Bowman, uh, Eloy's, that's just getting a little bit crazy. Um, I was just pulling a lot of his stuff, and, uh, you know, one thing led to another, and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to go with it. So, I hope the kid does well. Either way, uh, I'm still going to collect his stuff, unless he does something stupid. <laughs> you know, it, it's funny that we, we collect cards, uh, especially, like, Otanis or Tatis or Eloys, but we don't think what happens if one of these guys goes out and screws up like an NFL player, like they you hear them in the news all the time doing bad things, then those cards would be worthless, you know? So it's 
kind of, I don't know, kind of like a hit or miss kind of thing. You just really want these guys to play well and then be on good behavior. <laughs> so they, you know, your cards end up being worth something or worth something to you, you know. But all right, without further ado, let's see what Papa J sent us. I am really excited. Holy moly. He sent packs. He actually sent packs. Holy crap. And a nice little note. All right. Congrats on the win. <laughs> a few other items to open up on stream. Papa J. Wow. That, <laughs> that is so awesome. He loaded this up, too. So he does giveaways on his uh, his channel. Um, you got to check this guy out. He is absolutely incredible. Such a genuine guy, fun to watch and, uh, just loves the hobby. Uh, we should all aspire to be like him. He just all around has fun with the hobby. So let's, oh my goodness, Papa J, you really outdid yourself here. All right. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we got. We got, all right. All right. Diamond Kings, 2019 Diamond Kings. We got Gallery, 2018 Gallery. Some nice Don Russ. I think this is uh, 89. 88, excuse me. Should have known that. This is nice Babe Ruth collection. Uh, this is from 88. Tops. We got two more 1990. Uh, upper deck and 93 okay so we'll open those up after let's see what loose cards he gave us all right <laughs> that's really cool that is really really cool he's got his own stickers that is sweet i'm gonna have to put this on something uh somewhere here so whenever i stream i or, uh, put up a video i could put this somewhere <laughs> it's really cool <laughs> very very cool all right let's see what we got rebel garcia oh this is from 2020 nick solak rookie card jt riddle shane bieber he had a killer year last year he really did Let's see, in 19 Indians, he had 259 strikeouts. That's crazy. With 3.28 ERA, very good pitcher. And I love pitchers. Shane Bieber, very cool. We got Jeff McNeil, 27 as a rookie, I think. Maybe maybe even older. But man, did he have a killer year as well. Okay, let me see if it shows where he was born. 92, so that would make him, yeah, 27. 27-year-old rookie he was last year killer year jock peterson going shot for shot with vladdy and home run derby that's the most memorable uh, new thing i could remember of him sean murphy tommy Lastella, hoping he has a good year this year josh rojas rookie speaking of the diamondbacks the uh they got my boy uh starling Marte. so wish them all the luck this year i think they're gonna have a really good team uh, they got two Martes. Uh, they put somebody behind them, some like really good, just like a medium power guy. I think Diamondbacks are going to be crazy. They they got Mad Bum too. Willie Adams, Aaron Nola, CJ Cron, Trevor Bauer, Brock Holt, Justin Verlander. Emilio Pagan. There he is. Max Scherzer. What an incredible guy. What an incredible pitcher he is. When you think about what he did in the World Series, sure, you think he might have not have done that well. The guy couldn't put his shirt on two days before. He got a shot in his back, and he's like, I'm still going out. I'm competing. And he held the Astros to two runs. I think he's a, the biggest reason why they won. Mad Max Scherzer. Awesome. Caleb Smith. 
Kyle Lewis, Kevin Pilar, J.P. Crawford, Paul Goldschmidt, Christian Yelich, Carson Kelly, Randall Grichik. I think he's gonna. I think he's due for a good, big year this year. Jose Martinez, Shane Green. We got a uh, Aaron Saval, Nolan Arenado, Matt Straham, or Stram, Derek Dietrich, Nick Pivita, Anthony Rizzo. Oh, I see a shiny card coming up. Michael Conforto, Hanser Alberto. Oh, we got the Turkey Red. Xander Bogarts, Bogarts, Brandon McKay, rookie. Oh, that's sweet. I think it's Gallon, Zach Gallon. That's it. I think he's going to put together a pretty good year this year. Joey Gallo, George Springer. Oh, look at that. Decades best. Ken Griffey Jr. I think these cards are going to be very, very collectible this year. These uh, decades best. I think I think they're going to be a little tougher than people are thinking to put them all together. Very, very nice. Hey, look at that. There's a Vladdy. A war. <laughs> Hinges on Vladdy. <laughs> nice. Another Vladdy. Wow. And a Jacob DeGrom rainbow foil right behind that. That's awesome. And I do collect these rainbow foils, believe it or not. I I know, you know, the things that I think look really cool and I'm never going to get rid of, I put them in a binder. Uh, not high, high-end stuff, but uh, I do put them in a binder, a nice thick binder, and I, I, I look at them. They're sweet. These look really cool in a binder. All right, we got... Yomor, Yom, Yomor Sanchez, Luis Castillo, Ian Desmond, Masihiro Tanaka, Scott Kingery. That's a cool picture. Close call. Goodrum hangs on after swing, er, uh, after swiping second. Cool picture. We got a team card of the Cardinals. Team card of the Yankees. Austin Meadows traded from the Pirates in that horrendous deal. I, I am I am now a fan of the Rays because I like Glass now a lot and I like Meadows a lot. Juan Soto, beast. He's he already cracked the home run in spring training. Soaking it all in. Yankees celebrate walk off. We got Liam Hendricks, Jorge Alfaro. Jesus Aguilar. Patrick Corbin had a great postseason, too. Jay Bruce. Chris Davis. Mitch Garver. Ronald Acuna. That's a cool picture. Gary Sanchez. Tyler Flowers. Matt Chapman. I think he's going to have a really strong year this year as well. And Dwight Smith Sr. Or Junior. <laughs> Sr. What am I thinking? Oh, that's... Very thoughtful. Awesome. Thank you so much, Papa J. And I will open these packs. So, again, sorry for the long video, but hey. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. All right, let's do uh, 93 Donruss. All right, let's see if we can pull anything sweet from these packs. Can't believe. All right, Jeff Blauser. Can't believe we could still we still have access to uh, '90s baseball cards. It's crazy, crazy. Scott Cooper, Doug Strange, Luis Soho, Rafael Bernigal. I don't remember him. Chris Hammond, Paul Wagner. Nice. I met this guy before. Nice. Rob Dibble. Geronimo Pina, Rob Deere, Pat Lestache, Jeff Enos, Greg Litton, and Roger McDowell rounds out that pack. 
All right. On to the 1990. Oh, it just feels so nice ripping wax. All right, 90s. Let's see it. Dave Val. Oh, look at that. Larry Walker. Very nice on the Expos. Alfredo Griffin. Up, down, sideways. Steve Wilson. Kirk McCaskill. Billy Hatcher. Oh, now we're backwards. <laughs> Alejandro Pina. Oh, we got a sticker. Mike Cesoria. What's the sticker? What do we got? I think it's the Orioles. Oh, yeah. These are these things are neat. These things are real neat. All right. Jeff Reardon. Nate Heaton. Dennis Cook. Jack Armstrong. Mike Boding Bodicker. Daryl Evans. And Kelly Gruber rounds out that pack. All right, second series. Let's see, 1988. These are getting getting a little old. Packs kind of falling apart. But man, the cards are still sweet. All right, Jerry Brown, Steve Trout. Jeff Bearfield, Steve Buscelli, Ken Griffey Sr. That's pretty sweet. I remember a game where they went back-to-back. -back. Ken Griffey and his son both hit home runs back-to-back. -back. It was awesome. Johnny Ray, Jim Sundberg, and Company Store. Special offer. wonder if they'll redeem these special offers. <laughs> That'd be so cool if they did. Next pack. I've actually never opened any of this uh, Babe Ruth collection. I have cards from it. I've just never personally opened it. The Great Bambino. Awesome. <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't understand that Babe Ruth wasn't just a great hitter. He started his career as a pitcher. And a lot of people don't know that. And he was actually a pretty good pitcher. I'm pretty sure he started, or he had like a, a sub-3 ERA. Years in review. 1928. Here's World Series, 1927. Uh, 170 walks. First Major League victory. Man, look how young he is. You only see you only see him as an old man in most of his his cards. The called shot. <laughs> That's I didn't even know that was a thing of debate. A lot of people say he didn't actually call a shot. Trivia. Babe bats righty. Hmm. The right choice at the wrong time. I'll read that later. We got the Bambino. The man, Babe's first wife, Helen. <laughs> Peace negotiator. And being remembered by daughter Juliet. That's cool. Very cool. All right, on to 88. There we get a puzzle piece. All right, Gene Nelson, Pascal Perez, Rick Honeycutt, Melendo Perez, Doug Jones, Tim Belcher, Bill Gullickson, Jeff Sellers, Doyle Anderson, Brad Kaminsk, uh, Rene Gonzalez, Herm Winnington, Ron Hassey. 
Gary Lucas, and Ty Ganey. All right, on to our newer packs. 18 gallery. Maybe there'll be a cool Akuna in here. Or a cool Soto. Alright, let's see what we got. Really nice looking cards, man. Gallery just always blows me away. They look so nice. Each row starts us off. That's that's a good sign. <laughs> Daniel Mendigan, I love that mustache. Carlos Correa. Aaron Alter. We got Don Mattingly, Jim Tomey, it's green, hey look, it's numbered, 130 of 250, very cool, so we got a numbered card out of one of the packs, Robinson Cano, Dom Smith, that's a nice looking card. D.D. Gregorius, I actually have his autograph, uh, he from Panini Elite in 2011, I think. And it was before his name was DD. It was uh it was like Marisco or something. It was something long. All right. Martin Maldonado. Nice Jack Flaherty. Rookie just making waves in the pitching community. Incredible pitcher. And a Paul De Jong. And on to our final pack. 2019 Diamond King. Oh boy. Oh, oh, I forgot. I forgot to mention. I opened uh I <laughs> I opened a uh uh 2019 Optic. You guys saw me pull that uh Charles Barkley autograph redemption i redeemed it uh so we'll see how long it takes to actually come in but uh i was online and a guy was selling them i bought two packs he opened them and i hit a uh a zion blue um what's it called blue velocity all right al Simmons, miguel cabrera vladimir guerrero jacob de grom walter Aston. I love the smell of these cards. I, I know it's weird, but it just, I don't know. Juan Soto. Carl Hubble. We have an Anthony Rizzo. Oh, look at that. Nice. Walker Bueller. I have a, a couple of his, his autographs. One of my favorite pitchers, but man, is that a sweet looking card, huh? Aaron Nola, Mel Ott, we got a Masters of the Game, Javi Baez, Gold Border, oh. what's this, what do we got here, oh, look at that, we got a Framed Vlad, Flamed Vlad, <laughs> uh, Framed Vlad Rookie, wow, no kidding. That's awesome. I don't see the rookie stamp anywhere, but this is 2019. It's his rookie. Wow. Big pull. Hideki Matsui. Jimmy Fox. Cedric Mullins, rookie. Miguel Andujar, who I think is due for a good year. Jake Bowers. Lou Gehrig. And Matt Carpenter rounds it out. So, hey, guys. Thank you for watching, and thank. Sorry for the long video. Um, thank you, Papa Jay. <laughs> what an incredible mail day! I it literally. I was at work. And I was just thinking all day. I'm like, I cannot wait to rip this box and see what's in it. Like, I was so excited. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Incredible. So we got a nice Tome and a Vlad framed there. That's sweet. Papa Jay, I'm going to figure something out to do with that sticker. Uh, <laughs> that thing is freaking cool. I kind of I kind of want one now. I kind of want to make some. Stick them all over the house. See what the wife says. <laughs> Just in random places. But hey, thank you guys uh, for watching. And please subscribe to Papa Jay. Uh, that man 
is always entertaining to watch, just genuine. Um, he does live streams. And what's awesome about him that sets him apart from a lot of YouTubers is he will answer you when you talk to him. He will take the time and recognize you and he will talk with you. You know, it's it's crazy. I, there's other ones, you know, that live stream. They they don't they won't give you the time of day unless you're donating. But Papa J is a one of a kind. Thank you so much for everything, man. Appreciate you. He's a staple in this community. Uh and hey, be kind to one another, as my buddy Aaron's Aaron from collect or Aaron's collecting and detecting says, be kind to everybody. Uh let's keep this hobby growing. Love one another and uh be good guys. Thanks for watching.